All right, so today I'm gonna to explain why preload, making your uh, suspension, winding up your suspension spring so that it's tighter, doesn't actually make your suspension harder. So first I'll explain uh, what uh, effect the spring has on when you're riding. And when I explain this, it'll make you think that um, tightening up the spring Will make your suspension harder but then i'll explain to you why it actually doesn't so what your spring does is uh the spring has a force for the amount of uh distance that it's been compressed so let's say you know the total height of your spring is 100 millimeters uh and if you compress it say 10 millimeters let's say it will have a force of 50 newtons on it and then if you compress it by another 10 millimeters, um, then it'll have a force of 100 newtons and etc. It's, it's, it's a linear thing based on how much your spring is actually compressed. So if you had no spring at all, if it was just completely rigid and you went over something that forced your bike up. So what would happen is you'll be riding along, it'll hit it, no, the spring won't take any movement. And that force will go straight into the rider. So that upwards jolt would go straight and be felt by the rider and the whole bike would lift up. If the spring is really, really soft, then the person will ride along and the spring will spring all the way up because it's soft. And so the rider wouldn't feel much um, of the bump. If the spring was medium, then uh the some of the the spring will come up a little bit it will take some of the force but then once it gets to a certain force it will start um actually pushing the bike up as well if that upward force is more than what the spring can take within a given movement um it will so like if it was just like a steel rod or something no spring that steel rod can take you know 10,000 newtons and if you hit like a 20 newtons bump then um, you know it'll, it'll jolt the bike up if uh, the spring can um, move the whole distance of this bump and still be under the force and then you go over and it'll hit the 50 newtons and um, you won't feel the bump having said that you would think that um, if you tighten up the preload uh, you'll feel more of the bumps because um, the spring is tighter it's got a lot more force on it but what people don't understand is when you actually sit on the bike you're preloading the suspension and you're preloading it more than what the preload value is most of the time so if I don't have any preload if I got my suspension fully wound out and I'm 100 kilograms and I sit on it, the bike's going to go down and sit at, say, 50%, right? You know, 50, 50 mil movement. If I wind up the preload so that the spring is tighter, but it's only tight up to 80 newtons, so it's still tighter than before. But if I sit on the bike now, it's only going to need a little bit of distance before it reaches that halfway point of the spring because it's already preloaded say 40% uh, down and then when I put the weight on it it's going to go to that 50% point which is 100 newtons so in both cases where the spring wasn't preloaded at all I sat on it it moved down to halfway and I've got 100 newtons in that spring if I preloaded it up to 80 newtons so it's already wound you know 40% of of the springs total distance when I sit on it, I'm only adding another 10 mil before I get up to that halfway spring compressed point. So in both cases, there's still 100 newtons in the spring. There's still the same force in the spring when you sit on the bike. That's why changing your preload doesn't actually make your suspension harder. It makes it the same. What it does do is change the amount that the bike travels. So for a soft spring, it travels. For a hard spring, it doesn't travel as much but in both cases it reaches the same 100 newtons point but for the harder spring the bike is a lot higher and it's still got a lot more travel to go so having explained that why do people say when they've tightened up you know they've added preload to the to the suspension 
Why do they say it? It feels hard. I know it's not harder, but it feels harder or it feels harsher. And that is because when you're riding, you get a bit of weightlessness. So, you know, you hit a bump and now there's no weight. So the non-preloaded spring will take some of that force on its way down. Whereas the preloaded spring will have a bit more of a jolt one last point i want to talk about um it's i don't know probably not related to uh this video but it is related to preload is uh when people think that they are too overweight to uh you know for a certain motorcycle now um i had my cbr 600 double r which a lot of people might think that that's a, a bike for light people and someone who's um, you know 130 kilograms um, or maybe what's that um, 200 215 pounds or something can't ride a bike like a, a Honda CBR 600 double R but the bike is actually rated to 180 kilograms and that rating is extracted from the bike by setting the preload by winding the preload spring the people who made the bike specified 180 kilos with the mind that you'll be able to use the full you know the full range that the suspension offers so what I so what I've seen is people who are a little bit overweight um, going and changing their spring uh, making it a harder spring when in most cases you, you probably don't need to like I probably wouldn't even consider it until I was, you know, 150 kilograms. That's when I'd start to consider that maybe preload is not enough and I might get a stronger spring. So anyway, that's uh, all I wanted to explain today. Um, adjusting your preload, making your pre spring tighter on preload is not going to make your suspension harder. It'll only make it harder if you preload it more than um, you know the force that you're going to put down when you sit on the bike. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section. Um, and if you like uh, this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, take it easy and ride safe.